I'm down here in a fire ravaged section of New South Wales and uh, the damage here has been horrific. It's just, yeah, we thought we had bad fires up there in Queensland, but when I see what's happened here, um, yeah, incredible. It is, um, yeah, hard to explain. It really is hard to explain. But when I get here and have a look around, a lot of the damage you see in the creeks and uh, everywhere else has been due to um, a lot of introduced weeds, like cat's claw. You see in the creeks there where the cat's claw has been really thick on the uh, on the trees, and what's happened is the um, the heat's built up, dried out, and then it's burnt. It's absolutely scorched the trees right to the top. Uh, yeah absolutely incredible and they got heavy rain straight after the fires so the erosion is just incredible a lot of topsoil has gone off this country trees scorch right to the very top everywhere a lot of them are coming back they're suckering back a lot of the trees are starting to put their you know, new shoots all along the side. A lot of those there, um, yeah, they don't recover. Well, Trapper, this isn't what you do with your buggy, mate. Jeepa's got his buggy stuck in the creek. Look at that. She's stuck. That's a bad brown snake trapper. Look at him. No. Bad brown snake. second one this is what we've got we've got two dogs mate we've got two dogs i'll shoot these with a 22 now but There's uh, the cattle yards just over there. Okay, that's put us back in the race. That's three dogs now in two nights trapping. And we've only just started, only 26 sets in the ground. So let's go and get a few more. This is the uh, reason why I say to people that they should check their traps every single day. Uh, not just for the point of view of um, animal welfare. Uh, you don't want a dog stuck in there and left in there uh, for a day or two days in the trap. That's just You just don't do it. Uh, but this is the real reason, because you'll get some other species, something else, whether it be a cow or a lizard or a quail, uh, kangaroo rat, bandicoot, goanna, something will come past and oftentimes disturb your trap. So you've really got to be in there and check them every day just to make sure look at this here there's the trap set there and we've had a cattle beast come through here and walk straight around the side there's a couple of sticks up there there's a, a dog scat that we put over there as the attractant and this cows come through here and knock the sticks over the trap now that's not going to work that trap is not going to work so we've got to remove that one shift these out of the road here, that scat's still there, 
and the traps open so the dog's walking around. Uh, why I put the trap in under the tree there was for that reason that uh, if we had a, um, a beast walk around, they're more than likely not going to move in under that. Okay, this trap's gone. Trap was in there. This dog, where is it? It's dragged it. See where it's, where is it now? Dragged it here, where is it skunk? Where is it skunk? Where is it? It's not here. It's not here. Okay, it's taking the trap out of right there. And it's gone. Hunt him up, skunk. Hunt him up, quick. Where's he going? Where's the skunk? Hunt him up. Where's he? Over here, is it? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Where's he? Hunt him up. Righto, he's over here. Here we go. Got a big dog on a drag. He's dragged at about 70 metres. It's worked very well. Good stuff. Skunky, good boy, Skunky. You knew where it was, didn't you? You good boy. Good boy, Skunk. You watch him. Good boy, Skunk. Oh. Yes, good boy skunk, good boy skunk. Right, oh, that's what we wanted to see. One of these big dogs that's been coming into the feedlot here and killing the uh, calves. And uh, we came up, I saw the uh, tracks on the road and he's, uh, he's uh, caught him, got caught, dragged the drag over to one side of the road about 10 metres and it's come back across the road. I couldn't see where it'd come across the road, but Skunk knew, and uh, he comes straight over here, and uh, yeah, good big gray muzzle dog. What have we got here? Another big dog. Look at this on the drag, big old boy. Yes. 22. Okay, that's the second one. Second big old dog for the day. Great stuff. He's a big old dog, this one. Gee, the mosquitoes are vicious. He is a big old dog. Grey, teeth worn down. He's a cracker, big old dog. Great to get this one out of the mob. This is a real killer. Good full paw catch. Look at Jake. Good stuff. A lot of white in with this. This is how close Look at this, this is how close you get to getting a dog. There's a footprint. My trap, edge of the trap is there. He's put his toe right on the edge of the trap and didn't go in. So what I'll do, put this stick over a little bit closer, it's falling branch, so that just makes him want to step up through there. One footprint there, another footprint there. Step and oh, another one there. So he stepped straight over the trap. The uh, piece of bark there is the stepping stick, work well. He's put his foot over it, but he's just come around the side of it. So come up the bank here, come up the bank, another toe there, and there. Just missed. Just missed. Well, maybe tomorrow he won't be so lucky. <laughs>